No, wait, no, no, not this class, not chair yoga. Yeah, chair yoga is really, um, it really is just a yoga class. So we don't use weights. It's not an aerobics class, so we don't that normally. I, I think they have, you know, some people trying to design yoga classes with weights, but not here. Not here. I don't find it necessary to be working at all. Did you hear me any different? <laughs> Would you just like to give yourself a few pats every now and then? You make sure. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's making anything. Here. It's just a mirror. Okay. Good. There it is. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, let us begin. We have a new member, Priscilla. So, uh, Priscilla just welcome. joined us. So, welcome to Priscilla. <laughs> she knows she has to sit up there with you. And Show us. <laughs> All right. Is there a list? Priscilla, this is Mary. Mary, Mary will welcome you. <laughs> With all the pranks and naughtiness. <laughs> the best stuff. Well, how many brothers? Four. Four. They had to survive four brothers. <laughs> all right. Well, good. Um, Yes, so everyone good has their masks on. We have a mandate here. We have to wear masks now with all the you know, increase in the variant. Variants, I guess there's a couple of them now. And um, everyone has their strap, their lock good. I like to place the block initially behind <laughs> in order to remind me of good posture. Kind of pushes me away from the back of the chair so that I don't need my knees it to relax. Too much against it. So that block is just a reminder. All right. Throughout the class, we may be using the block. So I like to use it for uh, noticing your effort, your muscular effort, from the leg to the knee, the hand. And I find that it's very useful in that sense. Yes, yes. Silence the phone. Uh, because we do have a meditation and pranayama. So it's really important to be able to keep concentration. We still love you. <laughs> so, so yes. <laughs> Dive in. All right. So we will begin by seated, being comfortably seated in the chair. Both sit bones comfortably in the chair. Just notice how your body is so. All right, accepting where it is, placing the feet on the floor. Again, normally we don't wear shoes in yoga. Like it is because it's important to be able to place that foot on the floor and find your foundation. Again, there are some of us who do need to keep the shoes on. So again, in this class we're very accepting, but I still go through all of the different ideas of yoga and the normal rules of <coughs> But in this class and in, in general yoga, there's always acceptance of where you need to be. So no judgment, it's just the normal, what you'll hear when you go to a yoga class. So pressing the feet to the floor, knees are over the ankles, sit bones comfortably even in the chair, lifting up through the heart to the top of the head. The arms come up really too much. Open, exhale. Allow the hands to grab on to the side, palms are up or down. And I like to think of palms up as accepting of where you are, where you've been. <coughs> I can encourage and support you. Having confidence. Words 
calms down. I like to think of it more internal, more meditative. More focused. Finding the mood for it here. For example, peace and Meditation is a good different elements like the water. Focus on the breath as it flows in and out through the nose. Even though it's just long. The lift of the chest, maybe the shoulders, the belly extends up. And on the exhale, drop of the chest, the shoulders, the belly pressing back.
exhale, twist to the left. Push the left hand down towards the chair, right hand to the thumb. You can reach over the ankles. Inhaling, unwinding, deep breath in, twist to the right. Left hand to side, right hand to chair. Inhale, unwind, realign, deep breath in, palms together gently. Circle. Stretching side to the body, the back. Abdominal, chest to shoulders. And the wrists extend and stretch up. And we'll reverse the circle. So lift up nice and tall, deep breath in, heart lift, exhale, back come down, finding Tadasana, pressing the feet to the floor, knees over the ankles, shoulders are bowed, fingertips extend down, while the heart, the head lifts up. Feel the energy as you press the feet to the floor, find the engagement in the thighs. In the abdominal as you lift up, breathe. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, palms down to the knees. Lifting the chest with posture, neck rotation. Exhaling, chin to chest. Slowly rotate to the shoulder. Breathe back to center and then to the other shoulder. Slowly with the breath, exhaling always to center, inhaling full force. Bow the breath to guide you. On your next exhale, bringing chin to chest. Deep breath in, inhale, lift the arms, lift the head. Reaching up, dropping the right hand down. Left hand extends up, reach up. And then gently bring that head over to the opposite side and then gently press the head over. Really adding weight, not really pulling or tugging. Welcome to adjust that right hand. Right. Inhale, reach up both hands. Right hand comes up, left down. And you place that right hand onto the opposite side of the head. Welcome to adjust the left hand here. Inhale, lifting up, reaching up. And slowly exhaling both hands over to the left. Keep both two thumbs on the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale to the ground. Breathe. Inhale, lift, stand. Come forward, reaching for me. Extending. Good. Press the feet to the floor. Feel that engagement like you put up. Eyes look down to try and keep that cervical spine in alignment. Try not to bring the chin up too high. Now press the feet to the floor, engage the leg, and lift. Working here, breathing, heart lift, slide back down. Exhale, hands come down, sit up. Pressing the feet to the floor, engaging the entire body. Lifting up, dropping just the left hand down, grabbing the chair. Left leg will lift, but keep the right foot pressing to the floor. Going to flex, rotate both ways. Holding here, opposite 
mentioned four is strong that can't let can't help and support the poor person needed. Again, there should be no pain if I get to doing the work. Exhale, hands come down, legs come down. The back to the shoulders, back to the movement. Bringing up the left arm now. Pressing that left foot to the floor, grabbing the floor, and lifting the right leg. Point, press. Good. Rotate all the way around. Both directions. Walking, punching, palm does no pain. That means the last six foot extend through the heel, lifting up, four is working. And exhale. One more time, deep breath in. Press those feet to the floor, lifting up the right arm. Right foot presses against the floor, you lift the left. Or strong. And exhale out to side. Try and keep that right knee over ankle. Breathe. Holding here. If you need to, you're welcome to hold that leg up. Lifting it. Supporting it. Come back to center. Exhale. Extend the right hand to the left foot. Stretching your work. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Switch to side. Press and feet to the floor, lifting up the left arm. Left foot strong. Extend to the right. Now extending it out to the side. Again, listen to the body, listen to the hips. Where you need to. Support that leg. Come back to center and stretch forward. Breathe. Lifting up, reaching up. Exhaling. Both arms. Inhaling, arms come up. Breathe. Exhale, hands come down to the knees. Finding it, but maybe coming up an inch away from the block behind you. Here's your cat cow. Press the feet to the floor, shoulders back. We're going to bring belly button back, chin to chest, extend the arms, really arching the back. On your inhale, neutral spine, and then bringing the hands back behind you. Gonna come forward and up with the heart, shoulders back. Wow. Chin is still parallel to the floor. Inhale, neutral from the top. Oh, cat, excuse me. Belly button back, chin to chest, arms extend. Inhale, up to neutral, exhale. Now, how? Heart lift, shoulders back. Breathe into neutral. Doing this on your own, two or three cycles, allowing your breath to guide you. When you're ready, coming into neutral on your inhale, sitting up tall on your other side, shoulders up and down. One more time, up and down. Arms come up, reach up, palms together, elbows together, clasping the fingers, and then rotating the wrist. Important for the time to keep the forearms together, work the shoulders a little bit more. Breathe. Yeah, there's no pain. And reverse. All the way around. Looking for every corner of this knee. Take your time. 
lifting the body, rest when you need to. Inhaling, slowly lift up a little bit higher, bring those elbows closer together. And exhale, expand the wrists forward. Breathe, shoulders down, away from the ears. Very good. You guys can see yourselves now. Slowly rotate to the left. Back to center, slowly rotate to the left. You're going to lift up, reach up, breathe, exhale, hands to the back behind you, forward. Inhale, one last time, bring those wrists forward, interlacing the fingers and extend, shoulders away from the ears. Inhaling, lifting up, reaching up, exhaling, hands down behind you, come forward with the heart. That is over to the right. Putting up tall, finding the back. Stretching arms, so much to reach up. And exhale, right. Bringing up the left knee. Bring it down. Dropping it down. Right leg. Breathe it in. Out and Drop it down. Wide leg. If you have a block, use that block in front of you. We're going to do a twist in the chair. So bringing the feet as wide apart as you can, knees are in alignment with the toes. So adjust your feet so that your knees are comfortably in alignment. Notice both the bones are on the floor, shoulders are back, good. Arms come up, reach up. Exhale, come forward, hinging at the hip. Breathe. Notice the feet working here. Hands can come immediately to your block. Back block, keeping the torso about parallel to the floor. With the work in the glutes, strong feet. Maybe dropping that block down, depending on the proportions of your arms, you might want it higher or lower. So adjust that block so that you can extend the arm completely. And bring the hand right underneath the heart. Or even the head. Again, depends on your proportion. So we're going to bring the left hand to the block. The right hand will come to the knee. Breathe. Slowly, we're going to bring the heart to the right side. That means bringing that left shoulder underneath the body. The right starts to come over and maybe. Back on the top of the left. Eyes are looking over towards the right. Maybe the right hand to the right hip. Five not twist in the waist. Legs are still strong. Maybe the head looks up. Again, listen to the body. Notice the work going on in your breath, you're squeezing the lower lungs. Let's air can come in, focus on the breath. Slowly slide the hand back to the knee, back to the block. Right hand now centered on the block, left hand to the knee. Neutralize the spine, and then slowly on your exhale, begin to twist it over to the left. Maybe the hand will come to the left hip. Heart reaches over to the left side. Strong legs here. Breathe. Maybe the arms come up. Shoulders stack upon shoulder. Roll knees here. 
focus on your breath. Exhale, drop the hand, slide it to the knee. Back to the block, neutral spine, strong leg. Really press the feet to the floor. Muscular effort to lift up. So this is not for you today. Just place the hands on the knees and then help push yourself up. So everyone else, arms come out into a T. Breathe, feel the work in the hips, the back, the leg. On your next inhale, begin to lift, reaching up, breathing, and on the shoulder. Relax the legs. Take them out. Good work. Breath in, bring the knees in together. Find that block. I mentioned we sometimes use the block to work on our muscular effort. So we're going to place it between the knees. This helps also with alignment, keeping those sides in alignment. Feet are parallel to each other over the knees. Shoulders up and down. Arms come out, reach, breathe. Exhale, find Tadasana. This time, squeeze that block to really engage the leg. Squeeze the thighs in, press the feet to the floor. Breathe. Holding it here. Notice the work in the lower back as you squeeze a little bit more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold the chair and slowly maybe press the hand against the chair for coming out of the chair. Again, maybe it's not going to happen today. Notice how the knees feel. It should be in pain. Breathe. Exhale, come down. This helps to make you aware of the strength that your legs should have. So we can be posing the engagement that your leg should have, even if you don't have a block that day. The engagement is still there. It's still feel the feet press to the floor. Feel the lower back work properly because the core is strong. Right? So always knowing to protect using your hands. The lift helps to protect the lower back and your knees. And then uh, relax. You're going to do that at one more time. You're welcome to take the block out right, and use it as a prop underneath the hips if you wish to have more support for the knees. Right? So you'll still feel that engagement. You'll still be lifted up out of the chair, but you'll have the block to support you if you wish. Eventually, we're going to bring one half forward, maybe two. Okay? So let's work on this together. Use the block between the legs if you wish, or have it behind you ready for support. All right, I'll go ahead and put it behind me. Deep breath in. Exhale, arms come up. And down, breath in the chair. Find that strength in the leg. Breathe. Press the heels to the floor. Feel the engagement. If you've got blocks, really press into them. And then press your hands and press down. For those who wish, use that block. Help support the knees. Breathe. It's on light. Push the feet. Sitting on it. You're still working. Yeah. Supporting yourself. Maybe one hand comes up. Together. Maybe you lift up off that block. Or Maybe go a little deeper, but still not touch your chair. Breathe, work those legs, and exhale, go ahead. Take out the legs, windshield wiper. It'll work. Even if you just stay seated in the chair and press into the block you're working. All right, so whatever you, wherever you're at, please accept it. 
All right, deep breath in. We're going to place it to the base of the leg, so it's around the calf. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to squeeze the block. Right, slight different movement here. Some people feel it in their lower back more when we do this. So press those feet to the floor, knees are over the ankles, lifting up tall. Feel the engagement of the leg, particularly the calf now. You're still getting that engagement in the quads, maybe not so much in the glutes right now. But as you press the feet to the floor, what do you feel it? The glute? No? Yes. You should feel the glute engaged as you press the feet to the floor. Lots of engagement here. Core is strong. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Keep the feet pressing in. And now press the hands, assist a little bit more, press the lower leg in towards that block. While you do this, bring the knees out at the same time. Notice the work of the lower back right now. And the glutes and the hips, toes are working, pushing, pushing into the floor. Good, and relax, come on up, reverse swan dive. Breathe, exhale down. This is an isometric movement that opens up the back of the pelvis, releasing SI joint issues. <coughs> so, sorry, there was a spider. Yeah. <laughs> and the fun picture was not on. <laughs> so, uh, so, this opens up the SI joint and it helps relieve a lot of people who have back pain, lower back pain. Yes, because the movement of bringing the knees out creates an alignment of bringing the pelvis apart. So as you keep the lower leg apart, the knees are pushing out, right? So we're doing this, this movement and this causes the hip to open up just a little bit more. They almost like flare out, All right? It may be a different feeling for men as women. Women are a little bit more open back there, uh, just due to our purpose. Um, so, so this, this may feel different to you. It may feel more, um, a little bit more of a tug back there mm -hmm. than for women. We're already a little bit deeper. So, so the feel may be different to you. All right, releasing that. Shoulders up and back. Arms come up and hold that block. Lifting up. Exhale, pressing into the block, elbows out. Breathe. Now really press into it. Notice the work going on in your arms, shoulders. Try to keep good posture. The block is literally up against your chest. Inhale, keeping that um, work, that pressure against the block. Lift up, take your time. Breathe. And exhale. Working the upper arms here, you may be feeling in the biceps and triceps as you just move the arms up and down. Lift up one more time. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Different muscles start to engage as we lift up higher and exhale back down. Bring the fingertips towards the knee. Breathe. Working on the wrist here now. You can bring the fingertips down. <coughs> Breathe. Trying to keep that arm in the same down position. Relax the shoulders. Good. Relax the shoulders. And then bring it back up. Feeling. If you can bring it towards the heart, maybe a tiny movement, but you'll feel it in the wrist. Hopefully not in the elbow, but if you do feel pain, Come back to neutral. Back up and relax the elbows down. Shake it out. You feel the work in the arm. It's kind of odd. It's no added weight, no nothing. It's just you working. Your work. You can do this at home. Really begin to tone up your arms. Simple movements like this. So 
remember it holds. All right, let's place that block behind you. We start opening up with some hip movements. And if you wish, you can stand for these. These are going to be our bungees. All right, so if you wish to permit the bungee standing, you're welcome to do that. If you remember, I may go through it and then after we do it in two. Deep breath in, arms come up. Exhale, holding the chair wide in the leg. Deep breath in. Press goes knees back. Feel the engagement of the foot into the floor. Arms come up again. 90 degrees with the elbows. Pressing backward, bodice. Knees are in line with the toes. Press those shoulder blades together. Good. Really active through the fingers. Inhale, lift temple. Exhale, five pointed star. Extending out through the wrist on this earth. Uh, against the imaginary wall. Breathe. And exhale, relax. We're going to guide ourselves to the right side, bringing the right leg around, pivoting on the hip, and bringing the hips around. And so you're going to use the block immediately to support our left knee. Can you feel us from that? Can you see me in the mirror? Yes. Okay, so you can place that block of the knee, your left knee, the right knee is over the right ankle. And the hips are parallel to the right side of your chair. Your left toes are curled under, the front foot flat on the floor. Good. So adjust that block to whatever height you might need it. And then slowly, once you found yourself comfortably in this position, you found your lunge, you found the hip position for a position, that left leg might be able to extend further back to a deeper lunge. Stretching through the hip flexors, breathing. Slowly make the left arm comes up, right hand can hold the chair for support. Good posture here, shoulders both level to the floor, chin parallel to the floor. Breathe. Up a little bit higher, feel that back bend. Again, there should be no pain. Strengthening from the torso, the abdominals, lifting up the head. Exhale, hands come down, grab the chair, breathe, and we're going to rotate the hips around, opening back up, wide leg, and then over to the left. Again, use those hands to help move the hips over so that they are parallel to now the left side of the chair. The right knee can immediately be placed on a block. You can keep it there. Left knee over left ankle, lifting up, good posture in the hand. Welcome to hold the chair as you find your adjustment and make those fine tuned movements to get comfortable. And once you feel that strength in the left foot pressing to the floor, maybe that right leg can extend back, finding your lunge in the chair. Curling the back toe under, pressing the heel back. Again, adjust for where you need to. Good. Lifting the torso, maybe the right arm lifts up. Feel the stretch through the fingertips. 